Hello, I'm Micah Johnson with Cigars Limited, and with me today is Shauna with Gurkha Cigars. Hi. We're uh, kicking back and smoking a Black Dragon. Very good cigars. Did you know this got rated Cigar of the Year from Robert Ford? Yes, I did, and yeah. it's a fantastic smoking cigar, and I don't think that this cigar should be lit just any old way. I think no. the proper way of lighting a cigar should be explained to our viewers. All right, well, let's show these fine people how it's done. I like to talk about using a match to light a cigar. Mm -hmm. um, I've always favored the match. Just it's a more true, purest form of lighting a cigar. Old school. Absolutely. Um, when lighting a cigar, you want to make sure that the entire end is proper to mm -hmm. properly lit. You don't want to light just a portion of the cigar, or you can risk canoeing, which they call, which is yeah. a portion of the cigar or actually burn burning or burning crooked. Exactly. Yeah. So you actually want to roast the cigar. Uh -huh. And what I mean by roasting is to light the match, and after it, the sulfur has burned off the tip and it's actually mm -hmm. uh, gotten to the point where it's burning the wood, mm -hmm. we're going to actually take the flame and let it sit about a quarter to an eighth of an inch above the cigar and rotate the cigar. Rotate it around. It might take two or three matches and rotate the cigar around and roast the outside mm -hmm. of the cigar and then take a third match and actually light it until it's properly. Yeah, well, my God, I like to use a torch. You get right down to it. You use butane, you know, under pressure. These lighters are fantastic. They're refillable, and I don't have to wait as long to smoke <laughs> my cigar. You know, and you roast it just the same way as you said you would do with the match. But I'm smoking quicker than you are. And this is also very beneficial in the wind. Is that what you were going to say? I was gonna say yeah. You can actually get a cigar lit very properly in the wind. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things about that particular style of lighter is you want to make sure you're using an under pressure type of fluid in, the, in that lighter, mm -hmm. not uh, liquid fluid. Liquid fluids tend to give off a little bit of a taste or an odor. And if you buy a lighter that actually has under pressure butane, you, you don't get that, yeah. that taste. The cigar is not tainted. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the third way to light a cigar is just a traditional style, which is a, a lighter that also uses butane, but it's a soft flame. Mm -hmm. um, there are cigar lighters like this one that actually have two flames that come out mm -hmm. that are made specifically for lighting cigars. It's twice as wide to get around the bulk of the cigar. Oh, that's nice. And that'll actually light a cigar pretty quickly, not as nice as the torch. But um, again, these lighters are available anywhere from uh, very inexpensively $5 lighters mm -hmm. all the way up to a $100 lighter, like this. Um, this has the same advantage of a match, but you don't have to go through match after match sure. after match. I mean, and there's no rule that says you can't just use a Bic. I mean, the key is to roast the cigar and make sure you get a nice even burn so it doesn't tunnel, like you said, or burn crooked, you know? Nice. Well, let's light some cigars and enjoy. I'm already at it.